Hello, hello. There has been quite a lot of time without me recording any kind of video, so I was thinking that it was about time. Um, this is my new setup. Uh, I moved recently and I'm absolutely in love with my, my place right now. Very, very happy. So um, I thought on making a slight change to, to these videos for, for the readings that I do. And my idea, it was um, to just do the reading and, and so, so that, that is going to be done the, the first bit of the video. So then if, if you want to disconnect, uh, it's okay, but then I'm gonna just speak a bit about what I think about the the text, um, as in analyzing a bit, maybe throwing some of my theories about stuff. Uh, so, well, hope you enjoy. And today I'm gonna read one poem that is called Dust If You Must by Rose Milligan. And um, let's go for it. Hope you like it. Dust if you must, but wouldn't it be better to paint a picture, or write a letter, bake a cake or plant a seed, ponder the difference between want and need? Dust if you must, but there's not much time with rivers to swim and mountains to climb. Music to hear and books to read, friends to cherish and life to lead. Dust if you must, but the world's out there, with the sun in your eyes and the wind in your hair, a flutter of snow, a shower of rain, this day will not come around again. Dust if you must, but bear in mind, all age will come and is not kind. And when you go, and go you must, you yourself will make more dust. So yeah, short and intense. I think it points to quite a lot of stuff, but there are two, two main ideas that I think are very important for us to keep in mind. One is the idea of, of getting kind of down we always have these down times in in life now the the society nowadays is like they try to sell us that we have to be happy all the time and <laughs> that it's just not real life is full of ups and downs and we have to recognize that is there, there's nothing wrong with us with being down and as the poem says dust if you must if, if, if you need it go down L let yourself go down but another of the things that I think very cleverly the, the poem points at is that obviously you cannot let yourself be staying down there for, for long you have to to find the things that you know are going to make you up again even if they are things that you don't feel like doing because uh, somehow humans we are quite lazy sometimes and even the things that we know we like uh, it takes quite an effort to to just go and do them so th that's that's very important find something there's a lot a lot that the world offers that you don't have to pay any kind of money <laughs> and um, it will it, it will make you happier not that you have to be happy all the time i insist um also because i think that when we are down we learn a lot when we struggle is when we if we know how to pay attention to it if we know to be aware on those moments you find what's wrong 
you you know what you need to change and the other thing that it points the the this this uh, poem um is how quickly the time passes and i think it's quite funny in a way because my theory <laughs> is that we we kind of make this concept of time when we are little kids and um it's like 15 minutes when you're a child it's like eight hours in the life of of an adult right and then in the moment you grow up obviously you you find this thing of of time passing very quick and um but this like both concepts don't match you you made this idea when you were a child and then you the rest of your life you are like wondering where the hell is the time going <laughs> so we know it passes quick but in a way we don't act in consequence it's like we always think there's a tomorrow is kind of infinite time and i can do it tomorrow and as um one guy that that i find very interesting interesting that is called uh, his name is joseph goldstein um he he points very cleverly as well that both past and future is a concept is a thought you have in the present so in in a, in a way the future doesn't exist and that's something we are always told like tomorrow will never come because tomorrow then is today so i mean there there's not tomorrow and um yeah life is very short and i think we need to size it and do as much as we can and just be busy be busy as much as you can and well um that's kind of it uh come for more and uh, thank you for watching take care and stay safe kisses